Yo, what's up YouTube and welcome back. In today's video, I want to talk with you about why you have to stick with your trading plan. There is a great lesson in today's Forex Market Analysis because for the first time since I gone live, I had that feeling that I don't want to get in that trade. It didn't look good. It didn't look good at all. However, I decided to took it because it was according to my plan and I backtested it, put a lot of effort in it and it played out. But I'm not going to tell you how it played out. For it, you have, you'll have to watch the entire video. Hint, hint, take a look at the afternoon session. And with that being said, stay tuned. We are coming right back. Good morning everybody and welcome back to Forex Market Analysis. Today is the March 26th, the Tuesday. And yesterday was Monday and although uh, I did take one trade, I haven't had a chance to upload a video. So I, I want to start this morning session with yesterday's trade, the trade I didn't want to take. And here it is. Let me zoom in. Maybe you don't see it at first glance, but it's a beautiful trade. And I, why I didn't want to take it because at first it didn't look good to me. I just didn't like the look of it. But then I went through my back testing and I had that feeling that it's not going to be good. But then I go, I went back to through my back testing and it, you know, I had to check it and I did, I did take it and I uh, ended up making me 45 pips within first 30 minutes. The, this was the it, it was a, a Gartley pattern on, on pound yen around this was my pending entry and I got in and it took my target one immediately but unfortunately it stopped me out for a second position otherwise it'd be like 120 pips or so which would make my account go up uh, one point something percent but that didn't happen although I did get my account back up for 45 pips which is let's check it out pound yen if you check it out it's 46 pips actually 10 euros which makes it around half of a percent for me around around half of a percent so that was a good trade yesterday I eventually did fall down but that was yesterday it was a good trade I'm happy that I had a had a strength mental strength to stick with my plan and take the trade i think that's one of the biggest hurdles most of the traders go through because sometimes <coughs> sorry sometimes you just don't have strength to take those trades you know that 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 it and, and you need to go ahead you need to take them but sometimes you might fight pulling a trigger might be really really hard for you but uh you have to because it's in your trading plan and that's the whole point of this video basically stick to your plan pull a trigger when you need to pull a trigger and that's it now with those two two and a half minutes let's go to the daily analysis on this pair as you can see on pound yen i'm waiting for this garthly uh pattern to complete here today it might be another good trade if not well we'll see what's gonna happen then let's go from the beginning to the end usd cad nothing yesterday and i don't see opportunity today the potential a point got broken out a uh, violated so we won't be looking at any opportunities on this pair right now Aussie CAD uh, uh, made a new high so I yeah so if this is x to a a to b b to c c to d then I'm expecting something that I can get engaged with but but besides that I don't see anything else here for me Aussie USD nothing there might be a cipher pattern but i'm not trading ciphers on aussie usd i haven't find them profitable plus this is not a cipher pattern at all let's yeah it's not it's not touching the 38.2 so it's not a cipher pattern for you if 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 it, if it is on your data then you have around 20 27 up to 30 pips more until completion euro dollar well, price is making new low new low now it's okay so price action is nowhere it's consolidating if something if we do get something i'll probably get engaged but so far as far as i see there is nothing here as well pound dollar ah uh, sorry for this small pause but i don't see oh yeah i don't see anything here maybe maybe yeah i i don't want to x to a a to b 
not sure would I tag the, this as the X point, have to check my data. But yeah, basically I don't see, it's just rambling and uh, it's still the cipher pattern, uh, the cipher pattern is still uh, playing out. You can still win on a cipher pattern and if you took a big ass bat from last week, which was this one, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D completion, this was your entry point, you would be, this was around targets 100 pips and you would be, you'd make 300 pips on this big uh, trade. Yeah, so that's a good thing here. Uh, you still might be in Cypher, but there is nothing else here for me. And the Pony, and you all already saw it. Uh, I gave you a small update for yesterday and an update for today. I'm definitely going to upload this morning session because it covers the yesterday's, uh, yesterday's lesson as well. Uh, even though we do not get any kind of an action, you'll probably see this video. And if you like this kind of a content, guys, and if you're new here on this channel, consider subscribing. I do this on a daily basis when we do have some kind of an action. Uh, and I do more educational videos like on finances, investing, saving money, wealth building, passive incomes, and also all, everything that goes into that mixture like two, three times per week. Uh, yeah, with that being said, guys, hopefully see you soon in the afternoon session. Bye-bye. Hi guys and welcome back to the afternoon session. So yeah, basically there there were there was no action today in the market. However, I did say in the morning session that I will upload this video. So there we go. I just want to go through uh, through my peers to check out, you know, did we have any opportunities? But basically not. Now after the market, I don't see anything here that would be like nothing, nothing on this pair. Aussie CAD just rallied back up. Aussie USD, no patterns. Euro dollar, I thought that we might have a bad pattern, but this didn't hit 50. As you can see here, it didn't touch it. So otherwise, I'd be probably in this trade and I might just win it. Let me see. Let me see this. It would be uh, a break even trade, probably would be a break even trade because this wouldn't close my uh, take profit one. And this candle would close me out then for a break even. Uh, pound dollar just moving sideways, doing nothing. Was looking at this, but uh, this violated it, so nothing here as well. And then we had a pound yen. Uh, this, by the way, is not a Garkling because this candle right here, I made a mistake in the morning session, I actually violated the A point. It's a little bit higher than the A point, so I wouldn't be taking this anyway. I double checked it when I got in front of my charts at work so yeah i it's not a godly pattern and now the pound yen is pull, rallying up so i don't see anything else here yeah so that's it that there is i'm uploading this video because there is a lesson from monday's session x to a a to b b to c c to d it didn't look good but i had to take it because of my rules because of my uh, trading plan so i took it and it awarded me with almost 50 pips so there is a lesson here, stick to your trading plan. And uh, yeah, basically with that being said, if you're new here, again, consider subscribing. And again, thank you very much for watching this video and saying until the end of it. T cheers, bye-bye and speak to you soon.